What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to get great at pull-ups. Me personally, how I unlock skills, how I can do a one-arm pull-up, or even a pull-up with 100 pounds strapped onto me, and how you guys can level yourself up there too in the most efficient way. I'll show you guys mistakes that I made and things that really could have helped me progress so much faster if I would have just been implementing those earlier and if I knew earlier. But you guys can avoid those mistakes by listening to this video. So let's get right to it. All right guys, first we gotta start off by looking at what matters in the pull-up? What is the most important muscles when you're doing your pull-up? So for that, it's honestly the grip is a big thing that is underrated, that a lot of people they really only focus on the back. But really when you're hanging from the bar or when you're trying to do a one-arm pull-up, that's a lot of weight for just you and your forearm. So you're gonna have to develop strong hands and strong forearms to really just do this movement. So basically ways to really know that that's your weak point is just do a pull-up and feel what, feel what fatigues first whenever you're just training back or biceps. Make sure you check out what muscle's gonna fatigue first. A lot of people, it's really forearms because they neglect forearms. Or if you're using straps or things like that, it neglects a lot of time that you can put on your forearms. A lot of strengthening that you could have had over the years, but you've been using straps and neglecting the strength. But let me show you how you can make that up. Basically, at the beginning of every exercise, if you want to start you know, getting more into it, is take some time to do three sets of like 60 seconds of just dead hangs. Just supporting your body weight, just holding on to the bar, and getting your grip A1. And now, as you keep getting better with this, you can add more time. Even seeing some people add weight to themselves as they do a dead hang. Or another way you can do it is do a one-arm dead hang. Now, this is going to take some time to get used to, but me personally, I worked my way up to doing one arm dead hangs before every back and bicep day. I would basically hold it for about three sets of 30 seconds each arm, and that did a world of wonders for my grip. Honestly, I can easily support myself. My grip is usually the last thing that's fatiguing on me. All right, guys, so now we'll go down to the other muscle group, the back and the biceps. These kind of work in tandem when you're doing a pull up, so in a lot of ways, you can train both of these together. But my main thing for you to get used to supporting your body weight with your back and your biceps is doing just isometrics, really just holding yourself at the top of the pull up. And even after you finish your pull ups, try to jump up and do negatives on your way down, really focusing on that eccentric portion. I'm telling you guys, that will absolutely burn out your back and you're going to get used to supporting yourself just because you have no choice to and your body's going to be so used to just holding yourself up there that when it comes time to get yourself up there and you kind of reach the max part of your rep you can hit that part you know get your chin over the bar everything like that go back down it's a very familiar movement for your body and once you do it consistently so basically if i wanted to um, work in my isometrics i would hold my pull up for 30 seconds or you guys can just do five pull-ups and do them like this you do one pull-up and hold it at the top for 10 seconds go down to the bottom another pull-up hold it at the top for 10 seconds and just like that you're getting five pull-ups but your back is going to be destroyed because even if you can do 15 pull-ups or 10 pull-ups those five pull-ups will be much harder just because you're holding yourself you're using a lot of tension and it's honestly going to destroy your back i'm telling you guys just try this pause the video and just give it a try see how it feels and i'm telling you you're gonna see a lot of things that you could be strengthening, a lot of things that you can operate better in. <clears throat> now, once you got all your weak points together, once you already targeted your weak points and your form is on point, making sure that you sort of pull your elbows to the ground, have your arms wide enough, and really just imagine your elbows digging into the ground as you're doing your pull up. Once you really focus on those points or even just hold your core tight and keep your legs straight when you're doing your pull up, after you get these done, then you guys can go to the next level of doing weighted pull-ups. Weighted pull-ups makes a world of a difference, I promise. And for me, I slowly programmed that. I started off doing about 25 with a weighted belt. If you guys want a weighted belt, you guys can look in the description below, but you guys can also use a weighted vest, which I also use in the description below. But honestly, the weighted belt is the best way to go because you can add more plates to it. It's just much easier to load. Instead of when you're doing a weighted vest, you gotta strap everything on. It's a lot of work time that you can be doing, putting in your actual workout. So I'm telling you guys, get a weighted belt and start programming your back days by doing five sets of five. And try to go heavy, make sure you're really pushing yourself and consistently work your way up, consistently track your progress and see where you are. Me personally, I started off, once I got to a really good point and I started doing five by five, I did 145 pound plate. And over time, I slowly developed it to try to get to the 50% of my body weight. So I'm about 185 right now. 
that's about 95, about 95 right there. And really just work my way up to doing a pull up with two plates. And just doing that, guys, will give you the pulling strength to do the one arm pull up. Even if your technique isn't there yet, you're gonna need the pure explosive power to just pull yourself up there with one arm. But many people don't, many people wanna mainly focus on just, you know, programming the technique as well. There's a lot of ways you can do that. If you're doing a lat pull down, try to put the one arm attachment and just pull it down with one arm and switch each time. This is a great measure for getting used to just supporting your body weight and just using that one arm and really just using your one arm independently. Also, when you're doing this, try to mimic the one arm pull up. Try to really keep that form one point. Try to imagine you're pulling that elbow down still and just engage that lat. I promise you, your back is gonna feel completely different the first time you do it. And it's one of my favorite movements that I started doing that I still do to this day. And then another way, if you wanna get used to doing the technique is just holding that one arm pull up, like jumping up and holding it. Like literally trying to hold yourself statically still, really just focusing on it. And I'm telling you guys, this is gonna destroy a lot of people. And if it's too much to just even hold yourself, just jump up and slow your descent every time. It's a lot like learning your first pull up. Basically just getting used to going through the movement, doing negatives and controlling it. Now this will take a long time because most people can't do one arm pull up. I've yet to meet anyone in real life who can do one arm pull up besides myself. And that's because it takes a dedicated focus to really get to that level. And I hope you guys can stay dedicated, stay on your journey. And I would say a year or two from now, wherever you are, that you're going to be able to do a one-arm pull-up. And I hope a year or two from now, for me personally, that I can do five or ten one-arm pull-ups back to back to back. And everyone following me can be strong just like that. All right, guys. So I'm going to end this video with a visual of me basically training my back, training my one-arm pull-up, and how you guys can sort of get a more visual understanding of it because a lot of times people are more visual learners. And if you want to see the complete process itself in the videos right there, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked the video. Comment down below what you want to see next and I'll see you guys next time.